Hi, everybody. I'm Amber Grainer. I'm the director of community at Corelight, and I want to talk about the Zeke community and some of the strategic plans or goals that we have for 2021. And I'm hoping that you're going to be part of those plans too. So, but before we get started on that, I want to go over a couple housekeeping things. So, if you're not already in the Slack channel, please join uh, uh, the the Talk 12 for day two. And there's also a link in the in the topic of the channel. Uh, that's the survey. Um, that survey is actually in every channel. So please take a moment to um, fill that out after this. And also, if you've watched other talks, please uh, fill that same survey out for the other talks that you've participated in today. Um, I'm AK Grainer on Twitter, and my email address is akgrainer at correlate.com. In case you've got some feedback that you'd like to give or you'd like to volunteer at the end of this talk, I would love to have more volunteers. So we've had a really busy year so far, even with COVID, even with everything else that's going on. Um, we've, we've gained uh, 1,200 followers since January. Um, we've uh, got, uh, as of today, uh, we've got uh, over 1,200 members on Slack, uh, considering we just launched in March. Um, so thank you all for joining. Thank you for those who are, who are participating today via Slack. Um, it's been a great success and we're loving to see the community growing and participating, not only in the channels for Zeke Week, but also in the other channels um, that are there all the time. So a lot of the community is asking questions, you're answering questions, all of you are coming together. So it's just a great effort to see across Slack, uh, the Slack workspace. Our GitHub stars have increased uh, 562 since January. We've added 29 packages to the packages.zeek.org uh, since January. And we've also launched a webinar series. Many of you who are participating today have been part of those Zeek from home and Ask the Zeek Starts, as well as the community CTF that I think Aaron just referenced in his talk um, earlier. The other things that we've done, um, we've, we, been invited to be part of the DEF CON Blue Team Village and it included a workshop um, that, that they invited Zeke to be part of. We are seeing integrations with what I like to call old and new friends with the Security Onion folks and with Brim and many others. If you're an enterprise organization and you use uh, Zeke as part of your solution, I'd love to talk to you because we're going to be doing some stuff uh, with that uh, next year um, and we'd love to get get more information from you. Um, we also have the Zeek package contest, the third one that's underway. Um, we'll be updating that and sending out some more information um, probably next week. So we'll, we'll get you that. And so if you've written scripts and or packages that you would like to contribute, doesn't matter what it's about, um, since the end of the last package contest last year, um, feel free to um, take a look at uh, Zeek.org and the blog uh, about the package contest and consider submitting a package uh, for that competition. We'd love to have have more. And one of the things I'd like to say about that is you're not giving us the package, you're giving it to the community. You're just opening it up under the package manager. So um, those of you who have, have followed us, who have participated on Slack, who've, who've added stars to our, our GitHub stars, who've submitted packages already or participated in any of the events that you see on the screen. Thank you so much. It hasn't me that's been busy, it's been you all that's been busy and we really appreciate that um, because everything that you do, um, like, it, like that quote says, um, a rising tide raises all ships, you're helping raise the ships. So thank you so much for that. So what are we going to focus on for 2021? Some of the try to keep it the four areas because if you do much more than that, you're, you know, we won't have a chance to really dig into each of these. But we want to work on engagement, how and where we engage the community. We want to work on awareness. We want to build out some more content and figure out, uh, you know, what you all want to see. Um, one of the things that we've heard a lot about is is updating the documentation, and I'm happy to say we're working on that now, um, and we should see. Uh, some information coming out about that at the end of the year, getting some feedback from you, the community, um, and also seeing just how well we're doing on updating that. So uh, I look forward to hearing your feedback about that when we start uh, rolling some of the things out to be reviewed. So where, you know, um, where can we engage at and what 
what areas of awareness would you like to see us really build out? Um, what things, what content would you like to see? We're also continually um, working on updating the infrastructure. So many of you um, saw the, the website, um, the, the update to the website. Uh, we moved from IRC to Slack, and now we're looking at some other ways that we can, oh yes, and we've also updated the mailing list. So we're really working on that to, to make sure that we're doing all we can to make it easy for you all to participate. One of the other things that we're gonna to try to work on is the marketing and branding efforts. And what I mean by that is making sure that we as a project, uh, you know, are putting out the right uh, information, uh, we, that we ease some of the confusion about the name change and, and the branding change so that we work on really getting that message down. Um, and we're hoping that uh, you all will be part of that as well. So if there's any confusion around, like one of the things I heard a lot last year was, oh, Zeke bought bro. No, we just changed the name of the project. So we want to um, dispel those myths and anything that we can do to, to really focus on that next year, we'd like to do that as well. Um, having said that, this year we, we did, uh, we launched the newsletter, we've, you know, we, we tried to have the online seminars, we've done all of those kind of things, but if there's more that you would like to see, please let me know um, so we can look at how we can um, uh, incorporate your ideas and where you would like to help or uh, what you would like to see more of. So where can you get involved? You know, it's not just about code contributions, it's not just about um, you know, the, the core code or the packages, we talk a lot about that because anything that you add there, um, any, anything, any of the feedback, any of the testing, any of the stuff around the technical aspects in the code are definitely warranted and they're super important. But another aspect of it is those non-code contributions. People say, well, I use it, but I don't write code. Well, there's a lot of other ways that uh, you can get involved. The monthly newsletter, that takes on average about 20 to 25 hours of work. Um, if we include all the summaries and, and tracking down the links and, and all that stuff. So you could you could adopt a section, you could, as you're um, reading stuff or you're you know, surfing the internet or you come across some interesting um, Zeke related topic, uh, you can drop it in the news channel um, on Slack or you can email me or, or you can email the mailing list and you can let us know, hey, I found this great thing that should be included in the next um, newsletter. So there's a lot, or you can help edit and then help promote along the way. Um, I kind of look at promotion and social media, much like a second line. One person can put it out, but if nobody shares it, you know, what good is it? So it's kind of like a second line. That first person starts, but if the second person, you know, or yeah, sorry, not second line, flash mob. So if a flash mob, the first person like starts, but the second person doesn't, then it just looks somebody like somebody's out having a good time dancing their heart out um, somewhere in public. So, you know, um, it, it takes that second person to really bridge the gap. So if you all could, you know, think about what areas you would. It's okay. Think about what areas that you would like to, um, to contribute in and help with. That would be great. As far as the newsletter concerned, we also have blog content. Um, I know many of you are familiar with Eric Oy. He um, writes a series, a, a, a blog series about um, Zeke. So if any of you all are doing that, or you would like to cross post um, or contribute how to's, um, reviews of things, uh, anything like that, um, we would love to have that content. And it's also a great way to uh, kind of improve, you know, uh, your resume in some instances, because you can point to a concrete article that you've written or contributed um, that way as well. So any content you'd like to help us create, um, we'd love to hear your ideas on that. Uh, we start an interview series, but then, you know, COVID happened and then all the other stuff that, that goes on behind the scenes with, with things. So we've kind of put that on hold, but if you'd like to get to know people in the community um, and you'd like to tell their stories, everybody has a story. Nobody was born with this information and nobody, you know, woke up and said, and magically put into, into this world of network security monitoring. So if you would like to help tell those stories or you have a great story to tell and you would like us to share your story, you know, let, let me know. Um, I think it's a great way to get to know um, those people. Uh, 
in the community that are doing great and wonderful things in and around Zeke. So we have that opportunity. The community calls we have once a month, uh, usually on the first Friday uh, of every month. Um, and right now I, I, you know, set those up and lead those. But I would love for somebody in the community to say, hey, you know what, Amber, I want to do that. Um, and let me get you started with that, hand it off and let, let you kind of lead um, those calls and, and really curate that content and, and work with myself and, and the LT on, um, you know, figuring out what topics we should be presenting on um, for those calls. We also have webinars. So when we roll into 2021, we've revamped um, what we did have, uh, the Ask the Zeke Spurts and the, the Zeke from Home. Um, we're looking at just having Zeke webinars. And those could be uh, what, what we've seen for a Zeke from Home, something like a longer version of what we're having today, um, where you could join and then interact with the speaker. Um, we can look at that. Matter of fact, some of the sessions that you've heard today, um, we're going to have a longer version of those in those webinar formats after the first of the year. So if you would like to help upload stuff to YouTube, write those summaries and help post and promote, um, or even come up with, hey, Emma, I think this is a great uh, content that we should be offering. I know this person who would love to do this. You know, anything like that would help out greatly. Um, and we would, you know, the more of us that can can get involved and help, um, the better. And the other thing is, I mentioned all of these things, as Keith mentioned in his opening talk, his welcome talk, um, we do, uh, the first election was held um, for the Zeke LT. We have um, some new members to the LT and, uh, you know, we're happy that, that we saw, we, that the process worked and going forward, we'll have, uh, in, in two years when we do this again, uh, we'll have a, uh, where, where you, the community, can actually vote, not just the LT voting. And with that, um, and, and some of the, the guides for that is sustained and, and visible contribution to the project. So these are all ways you can have um, that sustained contribution to the project. So when it comes time for the next nomination, you've, you've got that merit and you've built that merit up and, and you're, you're known throughout the community um, and people see your work and, and what you're doing. So um, then you would be eligible to um, you know, run in those nominations. So these non-code contributions are a great way to get involved and, uh, and establish um, your own merit and, and, and for people to see your leadership skills uh, throughout the community. So think about um, those various ways that you can get involved and participate and what you would like to see happen over the next two years. Or if you're thinking in the back of your mind, hey, I might want to be on the, or, you know, on the Zeke LT. I'd like to run, but I'm not really doing anything, you know, public in the community yet. Um, these are definite ways. So if you, any of that um, piques your interest, uh, please let me know um, and we'll, we'll set up a call and we'll get it started. Let's see. And the last slide. Um, we, want to, we want you to stay connected. And there's many ways that you can stay connected. The website, the mailing list, Slack. Um, if you're interested in the code piece of it, you know, GitHub, we have many repositories there. So you could, you could uh, stay connected there. And also on the website under the community tab, there's a, a, there's a quick start to getting started in the community, whether it's technical or the non-technical pieces of it. Um, you could you could check that out and get started. So there's many ways um, to participate, stay connected, and help us grow and sustain um, the community. And also make the world a safer place. I know that's kind of cliche-ish, but when you look at what Zeke does um, and the insights that it gives you to your network, if you're contributing packages, if you're helping improve the, the core code, if you're helping us promote content, writing content, sharing all of that stuff, then you're helping build a stronger base and build a stronger community. And once the Zeke project and that code is strong, then anybody who is using Zeke either in their uh, network security monitoring um, stack and their organization, or their enterprise organization that uses Zeke as part of their offerings, you're making all of that stronger as well. So it's a win-win across the board. Um, if you can you know, give of your time, your talent, um, and, and help us make this better for everybody. Um, and with that, I'm going to say thank you and I'll meet you on Slack. If you've got any questions or any input or thought, follow-up feedback, 
um, I'll see you there. So thank you so much and have a great day.